Hello and welcome to This Month in Real Estate. I'm Jay Papasan. Our top story, what's the difference between a good offer and a great offer? We'll have the answer, but first the numbers. Home sales activity was at an annual pace of 5.1 million, with a median home price of $214,000. For the 16th consecutive month, home prices are up, 13.5% from last year and 3% from last month. The average national rate on a 30-year fixed-rate mortgage rose to 4.37%. And now our top story. According to KW Research, nearly one in three buyers entered into a multiple offer situation last year. While this is certainly welcome news for sellers, it begs an important question. When multiple offers come in, how can you tell a good offer from a great offer? First, understand that the highest offer isn't always the best. More money is always appealing, but remember, the buyer has to be financially able to close. Look for buyers who thoroughly prepared themselves by getting pre-qualified, or a buyer who's obtained a conditional letter of approval or proof of funds for cash offers. Also, a buyer who's ready with a bigger down payment or significant earnest money is more likely to be reliable when it comes time to sign on the dotted line. Ultimately, work with your agent to help identify the best deal for you. Your agent is looking at offers every day and will know what you need to jump on the right opportunity. For more information, contact your local real estate agent. That's all for this month in real estate. Thank you for joining us.